Sasha Sanders on the show on Spurs video podcast. Apologies for the noise in the train, but unfortunately I had to get to a meeting today and I feel my train. I was able to stay up to watch the New Castle, New, 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 New York Red Bulls Spurs game and um, yeah, uh, it was interesting. Obviously disappointing to see the penalty. Um, the up and under, you know, we were caught by that good late run. I actually thought it was Dawson rather than Verts actually got yeah, caught the penalty. You know, I was really surprised it was Verts. I think he's gonna have to learn a bit more about defending that none of that up and under. And I did see him having that problem actually for Ajax when they played against Twente, so something I'm worried about. But I think <coughs> that was more of a case of you've got a um, field that wasn't pressing high enough. Both, you know, either Luka Modric, you know, would have been pressing high enough just because I sheer that she's trying to get in their faces, he's dynamic enough. And you know, definitely Sandra or Parker would have been trying to close down their playmaker, reducing his amount of time and space. That is a problem using Collison and Livermore, that's a problem using Collison period, is that he hasn't got the energy or the mobility to really play a pressing line. You're only, with a high pressing system, you're only as strong as your weakest link, and in that case that is Tom Hobbleston. As much as I love the guy, I cannot see him staying for more than a season because he just doesn't sit fit the style. He just doesn't. He's not some press the ball high enough. And as for Livermore, I don't know if he's having a genus day. If those guys remember the Arsenal game, the three-two away, um, Farrell had loads of time and space, and we were two 0 down. Yeah, some powerless defending goalkeeping from Gomez, but you know, we allowed you know uh, Farrell got so much space. As Genes quite you know said, look, he noticed that he pushed a bit higher, yeah, pushed up, you know, pushed up on Farrell a bit more tightly. Um, but Jay Livermore's got to learn from this. I still think this is only a friendly, so again, you can't judge too much from that. But if this is what he's like, I'd rather him learning his trade at another club, especially for yeah, this season anyway. Um, then, you know, it's where you make mistakes, you learn by experience. Um, you know, I'm going to talk to a little more later about where I think he should go. Um, in terms of the rest of it, the first half was very disappointing. Benny was just Benny, absolutely cool as a cucumber. There were times I thought on the field, uh, when I wish they had a choice of Luca or Benny because, you know, times which you know, we, we hurried and you know, you know, lost the ball because they just trying to move it up the field rather than doing a little trick. You know, the play goes past us and then we have a bit more time and space and we see it in front of us. But that's just the nature of the beast, I guess. Um, have playing Bales as a false nine, as a force of zero. Can't out rather odd. He kept trying to drift off wide. You know, he's not a line leader, he doesn't know how to play, how to play that position before. But I'm hoping this gives him a bit of awareness of where to, to aim his crosses. I think he had that already, but if he doesn't have a great awareness now and you can you know, you can play in training games or when you're playing in a or even not competitive game, but actually against an opposition, you know, who aren't doing do 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 a Charlie Adams, but I'll try and stop you. I think it's a good way for you know, to learn about how you know, a line leader would play. And you know, who knows, we might have to blame sometime. You know, you know, we're not Addy, this that situation is sorted. We still haven't got another striker. What's happening with Damiel, Sturridge, Burb, something? I have no idea what's going on. So it'd be nice to try and sort that out as soon as we can. Second half, brought Harry Kane on. And it's incredible how much just having a genuine striker makes to the team. We finally had a spearhead, his, you know, he's had a, you know, a way to attack. Bale was sort of his natural left wing, which is where it's obviously his best. And ironically, I'm very much unlike Spurs, we actually managed to score from a corner. Either we've got improved on our corners, doubtful, or New York Red Bulls are just terrible at defending corners, which is probably more likely. But their goalkeeper you know, really saved them, yeah, pulled off some really good saves, and um, yeah, you know, he kept them in the game. Um, Siggy, yeah, he's got to learn. You don't put these cross in the box in the corner. No, no, seriously, that was amazing. Some very good te- uh, bit of skill, um, lovely bit. And imagine what a Nico French got in Man City in that 3 0 back in 2009. Those you, I remember that. Absolutely beautiful bit of skill. And, you know, whether we play in as an inverse winger, you know, play on the other side, or playing as a right winger, I just think, you know, he's got that ability. He is not too specific to say Snyder is. I don't know his technical skill, skilled, but he is a lot more mobile, he's more willing to run, and as a result, I think, you know, we can, I think, definitely there's a combination for Van der Vaart, and there's definitely a combination for, for Lennon as well, let's put his finger out. Um, other players that really impressed me, 
Benny, you know, yeah. Benny was just being Benny. Carl Walker, Benny Carl Norton. Yeah. yeah, they made their runs, but uh, there weren't any uh, what I call really uh, effective passes. Uh, and that kind of worries me a little bit, crossing the box. But anyway, we had no one to really have them to aim at, really. And we're not still on no. butting into the box. Uh, she, she, um, she in terms of what I think Jenna should be doing, I think, no, I just don't think he should be there. Janice and Bentley, I think they should both be gone. We got rid of Pinar, managed to make a million half profit on a player. Uh, I admit yeah, we signed in six months for Bosman, just just near Bosman, but still. If we can shift those to four and a half yeah, million, those guys can go. You know, yeah, we must be able to get at least, Tuesday, what, six, six and a half million each, both, you know, at least, for both of them. Uh, at least 10, 12 million. That should be enough to buy someone like Sturridge. There's, there's no real place for Jenison in the team at all. Uh, and there's no place for Bentley either, in my opinion. Um, in terms of what I think we need to go do next, going forward, strike is obvious. Uh, Gomez, no howlers. He couldn't do much for the penalty, and he had nothing to do in the second half. Dawson managed to, almost managed to score. And ironically, of all the players I thought had the most problem with Haaland, he's actually doing pretty well because he is leading the line. I think. Now Ledley King isn't there, he's signing the art, I'm going to take, take on his mantle. Um, that's it really, um, we need to see how Sandra and Parker do when they get back. And hopefully we can sort this week and watch the situation. Anyway, come to part two very soon, and as always, come on you Spurs.